Hello, it's Thursday the 26th. I'm FX Plu and rain stopped play on the air wheel, so I'm back behind the desk. Boris Johnson came out fighting on his return from New York yesterday, accepting but disagreeing with the High Court verdict. Naturally, he faced criticism from the opposition, but he did give as good as he got, labelling the Labour Party as cowards for not following through on their near-constant demands for a general election over the past two years. Their demand that a no-deal Brexit is removed before they agree to a general election is out of fear that if no deal is kept on the table, then an election could be used to force through a no-deal departure. This, of course, is being heavily criticised by the Tories, and we've even seen the Attorney General label Parliament as as dead as dead can be. Makes you proud, doesn't it? Johnson was also on the warpath later in the day. The bill that was passed theoretically forces him to request an extension to the Brexit deadline. He labelled that the Surrender Act or the Capitulation Bill, citing that an extension request considerably weakens the UK's bargaining position. As the Brexit paralysis continued yesterday, sterling fell to 123.50. And as Brexit remains the only topic being discussed by Parliament for at least the next five or six weeks, there will be plenty more of this to trade on in due course. Good luck out there. I'll keep you posted and hopefully see you tomorrow.